Hi, my name is Lachlan, and today I'll be presenting about the genre that I chose to study, which happens to be satire. First of all, what is satire? Satire is a form of humour or ridicule that uses irony, exaggeration, and sarcasm to criticise and expose the flaws of individuals, groups, or society as a whole. It also is a genre of film which uses these features to convey a clear message. Upon researching satire as a genre, I found that there are these five main conventions which are commonplace among satirical texts. These are irony, hyperbole, parody, clarity, and common contempt and amusement towards whatever issue it's targeting. Satire has been used in various forms throughout history, with different people using it to critique different aspects of society. Some examples of how satire was used in different periods of history includes in ancient Greece and Rome, where satire was used often in the form of plays and poetry. For example, the Greek playwright Aristophanes used satire to mock politicians, while Roman poet Juvenal used it to criticise the corruption of Roman society. In the medieval and enlightenment period, satire was often used in the form of poetry and short stories, which criticised aspects of society, including the church, politicians, and social classes. In the modern era, satire has been used in a variety of forms, including literature, art, and media, including satirical cartoons, TV shows, and movies, which have all become popular ways to comment on social and political issues. The first text I chose to analyse is the film The Dictator, from 2012, directed by Larry Charles. It features Admiral General Aladdin, a ruthless dictator of a fictional African country named Wadia. He travels to the United States in order to discuss with the United Nations about his nuclear weapons program, but is instead kidnapped and must find his way through America despite his cultural differences. It's a satirical text about the nature of dictatorships and the absurdity of political power. The second text I decided to analyse is an article by The Onion, a satirical news network. Uh, it's titled, Conservative Historian Claims Diversity Ultimately Doomed the Third Reich. Uh, however, for simplicity's sake, I will refer to it as text 2 from now on. Uh, I won't read the text, however, I'll leave it on screen now, and you can pause it and read it. The first convention of satire that I'll be discussing is irony. Irony involves using language that conveys the opposite of its literal meaning, in order to create humour about a particular issue. The dictator uses irony through Aladdin seriously saying things that are seen to most viewers as insane. This is due to the great difference in cultural values between Aladdin and the viewer, as Aladdin comes from being the head of a dictatorial nation, while the viewer is likely coming from a democratic nation. Uh, an example of this is when he's trying to convince a large amount of people in America that dictatorships are good and should be supported. This is the scene here. Imagine if America was a dictatorship. You could let 1% of the people have all the nation's wealth. You could help your rich friends get richer by cutting their taxes and bailing them out when they gamble and lose. You could ignore the needs of the poor for healthcare and education. Your media would appear free, but would secretly be controlled by one person and his family. You could wiretap phones. You could torture foreign prisoners. You could have rigged elections. You could lie about why you go to war. You could fill your prisons with one particular racial group, and no one would complain. You could use the media to scare the people into supporting policies that are against their interests. I know this is hard for you Americans to imagine, but please try. I will tell you what democracy is. Democracy is the worst. This scene is ironic, as Aladdin is supporting things that the audience would generally never agree with. It states them in a positive light, with a positive tone, discussing them as if they were wonderful things, when in fact they're often quite terrible. The things that he discusses as being positive includes corruption, inequality, and human rights violations. This highlights the absurd difference between his personality cult and Western culture, of which the viewer likely comes from. It is supposed to be interpreted as humorous, as it is making fun of dictators being out of touch with the regular citizens in society. Text 2 uses irony by stating that Hitler's right collapsed due to obsessions over diversity, equity, and inclusion. This is ironic, as Hitler supported the direct opposite of these values. 
This is supposed to generate humour, as it's highlighting the absurdity of opposing his Reich. This fictional Hitler's Reich is supposed to be the direct opposite of the real Hitler's Reich. So rather than being atrocious, it supports diversity, inclusion, and equity. It does this to highlight the absurdity of people who oppose this new Hitler, such as conservatives, who often attack people who support these values and voice their concerns about them. Hyperbole involves using exaggeration in order to make a point, often to draw attention to something that is absurd or ridiculous. For example, a satirical article promoting the latest fad diet might state that eating only blueberries is able to cure all diseases. It is supposed to do this to highlight absurdity in particular ideas. Hyperbole is used in The Dictator by exaggerating the character of General Aladdin. Aladdin is seen as an extremely self-centred character, being an exaggerated form of many real dictators. An excessive number of portraits of Aladdin can be seen throughout the movie, portraying him as being godlike and as a figure to be worshipped. This is supposed to be reflective of Hitler and Kim Jong-un, who both also had many portraits around their nation in order to ensure that their people are always loyal to him. Another example of hyperbole in The Dictator is through the use of expensive sports cars upon Aladdin's entry into the United States. It's supposed to reflect the fake level of richness seen in third world countries. A real life example of this is through the fake amusement parks created in North Korea. They are created, but very rarely ever operated, as they're supposed to make the country look rich and look like they have the money to create these things, while in reality the people are starving. This is what the movie is making a mockery of, and is highlighting the absurdity and criticising these issues. Text 2 exaggerates the cynical perspective of conservatives being against leftist ideologies, such as diversity and inclusion. This is represented through the conservative historian, stating, Sadly, had Hitler and his Nazi generals not been so obsessed with the ideals of diversity, equity, and inclusion within their institutions, the Third Reich as we know it would still be around today. This is exaggerated, and it is saying that these conservatives would support the real Hitler. Hyperbole is used to exaggerate how conservatives would oppose liberals at all costs, such as for, by supporting Hitler in order to oppose the values which liberals support. Parody involves imitating the style or format of a particular work or genre for comedic effect, often to poke fun at a particular cultural phenomenon. For example, a satirical television show might create a parody of a popular reality show by exaggerating its most absurd elements. It does this in order to create humour, spread awareness of an issue, and to mock or criticise the style it's replicating. The Dictator doesn't directly parody another text. It's still a satire, however, it presents its message and creates humour without being a parody. This is manipulating the genre, as most pieces of satire are parodies in some way, shape, or another of other texts. Text 2 does use parody, as it copies the structure and elements of a regular news article. By hiding satire behind the mask of a serious text, it can become jarring and humorous. The content of Text 2 may come as a shock for those who aren't prepared, and if not taken seriously, can be very amusing to read. The text is supposed to be mocking the reliability of news sources, in addition to the content it covers. Sarcasm is similar to irony, the difference being that it is specifically to be critical of something or someone else. It uses language to be insulting or mocking to convey a message being strongly against a specific target. The dictator is sarcastic by displaying Kim Jong-il at the start of the film, and stating that the film was created in loving memory of him. The film was obviously not created in loving memory of Kim Jong-il, as its entirety is mocking dictators. It says this in order to be sarcastic and humorous, as the author and audience likely don't support ruthless dictators. However, this is also supposed to highlight the absurdity of those people who do support dictators, of whom there are not many. Text 2 uses sarcasm through how conservatives are represented. The views of conservatives are mocked as they're presented as being terrified of diversity and equality. A quotation from the text states, Hitler's terrifying legacy as a blue-haired social justice warrior obsessed with diversity and inclusion still haunts Germany to this day. 
This quote mocks conservatives being afraid of accepted features in the Western world. And it's being sarcastic, as it's making conservatives seem against Hitler for the wrong reasons, making fun of their stance against progressiveness. Clarity includes the quality of a text being coherent and intelligible. It allows a text to convey a clear perspective, which can be easily understood. If a text is clear, viewers leave understanding exactly what the text was trying to convey. Clarity and hyperbole often work hand in hand, as hyperbole allows a text to strongly portray a particular message, which can make it much more clear for the viewer. The dictator has used clarity by making it very clear that the text is mocking the idiocy and selfishness of dictators, including the personality cult behind them. In particular, certain states are being mocked, such as North Korea, as it exaggerates certain characteristics of these states within the film. Text 2 has manipulated the genre of satire. It has removed clarity in order to make it more difficult to understand the motives or perspective of the author. This manipulates the genre, as it's not making it clear enough or easily understandable who is being criticised and what the intentions are. Usually, satire is meant to be interpreted by a wide audience, so it can be understood quickly and by many people. However, this article doesn't do this, and instead requires some thinking and further thought to understand its motives. Contempt and amusement are not necessarily features of satire, but are instead the emotions from an author reflected within a text. This can target particular issues reflecting these ideas. This can include contempt towards a target group or individual, and amusement through highlighting the absurdity of their behaviour in order to create humour. The Dictator was created with contempt towards totalitarian leaders. It was created by an American director who obviously doesn't support dictators coming from a free country. The text creates hate as it mocks dictators, portraying them as being self-interested, stupid, and blind. An example of this is how Aladdin was ordering executions for anyone who disagreed with him about anything, but when people begin to oppose his rule, he is very surprised at the resistance. This is also done through humour and amusement by doing this in a humorous way. For example, when Aladdin orders the execution of someone who gets the toy in a cereal box instead of him, portraying him as being childish. Text 2 was created with a contempt towards conservatives, who are often known to complain about the woke left. The text mocks how they can complain about liberal things in society being too inclusive. The text compares them to Nazis, portraying them as preferring the real Hitler over this fictional Hitler. The text is mainly humorous due to the extremity and absurdity of it. To summarise this analysis, satire is a genre which portrays a critical yet humorous perspective on particular issues. It uses techniques including irony, hyperbole, parody, and sarcasm in order to present a very clear perspective. The dictator employs irony and sarcasm in order to critique the political system of a fictional dictatorship, whilst being critical of dictatorships as a whole. Text 2 satirises the conservative perspective of diversity and inclusion. It uses hyperbole to exaggerate and ridicule the notion that diversity caused the downfall of the Third Reich. My name is Lachlan, and thank you for listening to my presentation.